Hello, it's 10.50 and time for the first comments. Uh, yesterday was uh, pretty much as it was on uh, Wednesday. It was primarily a debug day uh, where I spent an enormous amount of time uh, on my systems uh, debugging. Uh, it was going back and forth between um, what is going to become as of today uh, my development environment where I will de start developing open source software uh, primarily aimed at the uh, Linux crowd uh, I began setting that up it's more or less done so I will start working it today the other debug that I was doing uh, was on the Kubuntu 10 Kubuntu 11.10, uh, that seems to be more problematic than I first realized. Uh, so I said, rather than complaining about it, I am going to start getting involved fast, sooner than I expected to. I had basically planned to start getting involved uh, next month, but uh, the, the issues uh, with uh, Kubuntu 11.10 seem to sort of say that there's an o opening uh, in Kubuntu uh, that I could sort of insert myself into and start trying to make a difference and this will sort of you know be my in to uh, Linux development. Uh, it, you know, most people, from what I've seen on, uh, not even most people, but some people on the internet have a preference uh, uh, that they are rather strong with. And when they change uh, their preferences for computers, uh, they, <laughs> they will let people know about, uh, uh, in very strong terms, what, the feel, what they feel about uh, the, either their old preferences or how they ended up going back to their old preferences. This includes uh, people who have been on Windows and moved over to Linux, hearing, oh, what you can do on Linux is, is uh, far more powerful than you can, what you can do on uh, Windows. And that's uh, the case. Uh, it, it is true that on Linux you can do a lot more than you can do on uh, Windows. But there is a caveat that you have to really sort of... Uh, consider when you're making this move. Windows and, and Macintosh, uh, or should I say the, the Apple uh, uh, offerings, are essentially out-of-the-box solutions. This means that they're no-brainers. You open it up, you turn it on, and you start using it right away. They really don't give you many options to really fiddle around and customize the software to what you want it to do. It is really, you know, this is what you get, this is what you're paying for. And if you want anything more, you have to pay extra for it. Linux doesn't do that. Linux is out of the box, customizable, tailorable, which means that you have to make it fit into your environment. This is what the debug process is. The debug process is getting things to work the way you want it to work for the various different purposes or the one specific purpose. If you have only one specific purpose that you're working on with, with the computer, then it's for that one specific purpose. If you do a variety of things during the day or, or your, your job requires a variety of different things, then you have to tailor your, your computer to do all these variety of different things. And this is where the debug process in uh, in Linux is, becomes a little more complex because you, it is so tailorable that when it comes, it's not configured to anything. It's basically openly configured. So you have to go in there and figure out how to get you know your specifics done. And in Windows, and even in Mac OS, the number of upgrades that you do, uh, like from Windows, let's say from uh, uh, 
uh, XP to Vista to Windows 7 and now there is the uh, uh, Windows 8 is in beta right now so it should be coming out within a year or so. Uh, Mac OS takes the same route. It's, it's it, the, the upgrade uh, time, the timeline between upgrades uh, is slow. It's, it's over a period of years. Uh, and this is the way they designed the upgrade is that they intend to uh, match the the operating system with the computer so that uh, they're expecting that when you upgrade from let's say Vista to 7 that you're not simply upgrading the software but you're buying a new computer so most of the stuff is already installed on that, so there really isn't an upgrade process to that. In Linux, that's not the case. In Linux, if, if you're on on uh, on on uh, what they call flavors of Linux, like Ubuntu or Ubuntu, the upgrade cycle is every six months. Now I've talked to IT people who've worked on 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 uh, Mac, Microsoft and on Apple, and I did IT work on uh, in my earlier days uh, on M Microsoft and Apple. And the typical process for debug is very simple on uh, on uh, on Macintosh and and, uh, and Microsoft. If something goes wrong and really the system really does have a problem, this is most IT people, IT people know that Windows particularly is very buggy with its drivers. The simplest and best solution is back up your data, wipe out the hard drive, and reinstall the software. That's their debug in Windows and in Apple. So, as I said, it's an out-of-the-box solution. There's really no fiddling with it. And this is what causes that when one program crashes, on Windows and even on Apple, it can bring the entire system down. It locks up the whole system because what you're getting is, is essentially an out of the box solution. Uh, an out of the box solution that when something goes wrong, you back up your data, wipe out the hard drive, and reinstall. That's the process. And I know a number of good IT people who do this on a regular basis. Almost every four months, uh, their system gets clogged up with useless uh, uh, Microsoft garbage. And what they're doing, they're backing up their data, wiping out the hard drive, and reinstalling. In Linux, that's not the case. When, when a program crashes, it does not crash the entire system. Further, let's say your desktop crashes, and that's the, the, that does happen occasionally. Your desktop can crash, but the, typically that occurs only when you're doing an upgrade or you've installed something that you shouldn't have installed and it's causing a problem. Now normally on Windows you'd have to wipe everything out and reinstall. And this in some cases means losing data on your system because you, if you haven't backed it up then there's no way to retrieve it. Uh, in Linux you can always go down to a terminal and repair things on the console on the terminal level Rather than that, that's without Windows. That's sort of the uh, we see the lines of code. You're working inside a terminal. You're working back on the old uh, text version of things. Uh, you can actually do a lot of repair in there, and you can revive the desktop. You can bring everything back, and you can be done without a loss of any data. So these are the this is the advantage of Linux over Windows and even even Apple which is actually uh, uh, Linux based uh, but if you're not in the type of person who's going to sit down and really learn the system that you can so that you can do the debug then Linux isn't for you and you'd be better off with uh, a product like uh, Windows or Apple but when people have a sense that they are the best in the world that they are this so-called guru what you see and this is what a lot of times you see on the internet and you've seen this I've seen this in a couple of uh, the YouTube uh, reviews of Linux is you say, oh Linux sucks this sucks you know 
it, 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 the, the word socks usually is in there in multiple, multiple uh, uh, arrangements amongst other uh, descriptive words, if you want to call them graphic or, whatever, what, you know, or colorful or whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're of that nature. Uh, but what they haven't done is, and they themselves admit this, you can sort of see it as they go along, that they are basically Windows or Apple. They're out of Windows or Apple people. They're out of the box software people trying to move into a Linux uh, environment where it's not out of the box. They don't know the debug process, the full debug process. And so they're making their assumptions from this Windows perspective. Uh, so this process that I'm getting into now, and this is the way I am, I'm not the best person out there. Uh, I need to look around to see what other people are doing, uh, what other people have, have, have tried for different problems, for different debugs, uh, and then see if that works. And if it doesn't work, see if there's, there's something that similar that applies to myself. So uh, this is why I'm g accelerating my uh, involvement in the Linux environment and moving into uh, uh, open source development as of today. So this is it for the first comments. Uh, if I have anything more to say, I will uh, let you know.